Hi there, so fast food restaurants, they seem to be popping up all over the place, don't they? Everywhere you look, there seems to be a new chain of restaurants. The decisions are getting harder and harder where to take the kids to eat on a Saturday afternoon. A bit like trading really, isn't it? Everywhere you look, there's a different strategy. Follow this set of rules, follow that set of rules. Use this indicator or use that indicator. Well, today I want to talk to you about a technical indicator that we use in trading. It's by far the most popular and most widely used technical indicator out there. Come on. Okay, so let's talk about the infamous MACD then. As we now know, it's not just an American burger bar, it is the most popular and widely used technical indicator out there. So it's very important that you understand exactly what it is. It basically will form part of many of the strategies you may be following or maybe strategies you may be wishing to purchase or indeed may form part of a strategy you're wishing to develop yourself. So it's important you understand what the MACD is, the components of it and how you can basically use it. Okay, so the MACD, uh, basically it is an acronym for the Moving Average Convergence and Divergence. It basically is another way of looking at moving averages. Now you know what a moving average is, a moving average is basically a line on a chart that basically averages out price over a period of time, over a period of look back candles. Now you've got a fast moving average, which would normally be a low number, basically averages out just over a small number of last time periods. Um, that will basically react with the price. And then you've got a slow moving average, which will be less reactive to the price. So basically the MACD looks at two moving averages. So the MACD is comprised of three components. So when you load this up onto your chart now, you're gonna see three bits of information. And we're gonna go through those in turn so that you understand exactly what is going on. First off, you've got the MACD line, you've got the signal line, and you've got the histogram. Bear with me, I'll explain exactly what they are now. So the MACD line, it's basically the difference between two exponential moving averages. You may have heard exponential moving averages, often referred to as just the EMA. An exponential moving average is basically an average that uh, spends more time or more um, emphasis on the most recent data, um, so it's less reactive to big numbers falling off out of the equation. So it looks, the MACD line looks at two moving averages. The fast moving average, often defaulted at 12, and the slow moving average, is 26. Now these are the defaults that come with most of the indicators when you load them up for the first time. I don't see any reason why uh, you should change those. I know some traders do, some strategies will tweak those, but I don't see any necessity to necessarily change those default settings because it basically it does what it says on the tin. So it looks at the different moving averages, the 12 and the 26. Are they converging, that's moving in on each other, or are they diverging and then moving out um, away from each other? This will become a lot clearer when we start looking at an example on a chart in a few moments, but it's basically looking at the relationship between the fast and the slow moving average, and that basically draws a line on the chart called the MACD line. Now the signal line is basically a nine exponential moving average of the MACD line. So it takes the MACD line and basically averages it out over nine period look back. Now that is the default. Nine is the common default you'll see when you load it up. Um, and obviously the relationship between the MACD line and the signal line, whether it's crossing above or below, will give us our signals when to buy, when to sell, show us when trends may be changing direction and so forth. So the MACD line in relation to the signal line is basically what the MACD indicator is all about. Then you've got the histogram. Now the histogram is just another visualization of what the relationship is between the MACD line and the signal line. So for example, if the MACD line is moving up through the signal line and basically moving uh, in the north direction, you'll see the histogram moving up. And if the MACD line then crosses below the signal line, then you'll see the MACD uh, histogram uh, show the histogram bars uh, below uh, the center line as well. So the histogram basically is another way of looking at the relationship between the two. It'll become a lot clearer, as I say, when we get onto the charts um, in a moment. So how do we use the MACD? That's the, uh, the obvious question that we all want answered. Well, generally speaking, the MACD is used to enter the market when the MACD line crosses above or below the signal line to give us buy entries if we're looking at a cross coming from below to above, and sell entries if we're coming from above 
to below. A bit more to it than that, but that's the basic, um, the basic theory behind that. And the MACD line can be used to show us when a trend is about to reverse. So if the market is trending up and we're seeing a nice uptrend, but then you've got the histogram moving back down and then the signal line, the MACD line crosses through the signal line, that could indicate that the trend wants to come back down on itself. So it's a good uh, preemptive uh, signal showing us when trends may change direction. And the histogram can be used to show that. It shows you an increase or decrease in momentum. If you see the histogram all moving up like that, then that shows you that the momentum is moving in that direction. And when the start, when you see the histograms that may be rolling off, um, that could be showing you that the momentum is now um, waning a little bit and maybe turning back and it may be a time to get out of your open uh, current position. So the histogram is very useful in showing you a visualization of when that trend may be coming to an end. So this is a regular price chart. What I'll do now is I'll put on a 12 moving average. 12 moving average is the fast moving average of the two. You can see it's moving pretty much uh, with the price. Doesn't show us much on its own. I'll now put on the slow moving average, the 26 moving average. And you see that there with the cyan line there. So basically now we're looking at two moving averages and looking at the relationship of the two. Okay, as you see here, the, the fast moving average moving above the slow moving average, the 12 moving above the 26 as we break up into trend. As, as the price moves back down, the 12 moving average is now basically uh, converging on the fast uh, on the slower moving average on the 26. So that's all very well, but now we want to use the MACD indicator. So you go to your indicators, you put in your MACD, and it'll basically show you that in a different way. And this is the MACD line. Okay, um, I've made it blue and I made it really big. Normally the MACD indicator will be at the bottom part of the screen as with any indicator. So you've got the price up there and you've got the indicator down here. Here you'll see this blue line basically showing us the difference between these two moving averages. As you see here in this bit of price action here, you've got the red line, that's the fast moving average, um, accelerating way through the slower moving average. They, they are diverging away from each other and that's reflected by um, this upward move there in the MACD line. You'll see here that the MACD, uh, the, the fast moving average, the 12, is moving below the 26 moving average, the slow moving average, and you'll see that basically uh, with that um, move back down there as well. Every time they cross, you'll see a cross of the center line here um, on the MACD indicator. So every time these lines cross, you'll see um, those go above and below that um, uh, zero line. So basically this represents the difference. You'll see here at the end here, the fast moving average, the 12, is moving back now. It's converging in onto the 26, and hence the MACD line is coming down. So that's the MACD line basically showing us the difference. So what we do now, we put on our signal line. Our signal line, remember, is the nine exponential moving average of that blue line. And this is where we get our signals from. So basically here you'll see the MACD line and the signal line when they cross that's when we get our signals of when to buy and when to sell. Okay, so now let's put on the histogram. As I said, the histogram is basically a visual representation of what's going on here. You'll see as markets move, uh, as the price moves up in an upward move and you see this gap increasing, you'll see the histogram uh, increase, beg your pardon, you'll see the histogram uh, increase as well. As the gap between the two moving averages increases, the histogram will move either up or down, depending of course whether the trend is up or down, depending of course whether the, the 12 is above or below the 26. If the 12 is below the 26, the histogram will be below the zero line. If the 12 is above the 26, the histogram will be above the zero line. And that's basically the three components of the MAC the indicator. So now I'm going to jump on to the uh, real MT4 chart um, so you don't have to strain your eyes looking at this and I'll show you some quick live examples of exactly how you could potentially uh, use the MACD indicator. Come on. Okay so here we are on a regular price chart now I'm going to load up the MACD indicator so I go to insert indicators it's under oscillators and there it is the MACD you can confirm the settings the fast moving average is the 12 the slow moving average is the 26 and the nine is the signal line. And these are applied to the closing price. 
click OK. And there you'll see the indicator appear at the bottom of the price chart. Now the default version on most MT4 platforms doesn't actually show the MACD line as an independent line. But of course the MACD line is the same as the tops and the bottoms of the histogram. So you don't actually need to see uh, the MACD line, but some of uh, some traders do like to see that. So you can download another version, plenty of places out there offering their MACDs as well. I've got one installed here. Insert, indicators, custom. I've called this MACD histogram and there you go. And so you can see you don't actually need the MACD line Look at the blue line, look at this. He's these histograms, it's showing you the same information. You see here the blue line heading up through the center line as the histogram starts to head up as well. So let's just take off the default MT4 version and we'll just look at this one for now. I'll make that a little bit bigger so you can see more clearly. Now, the purpose of this is not to show you winning trades. I'm not trying to cherry pick winning trades. I have nothing to sell here. I'm just showing you how to uh, use the MACD indicator. So let's just scroll back and see how effective it was. OK, so here you'll see the MACD line crossing through the red line, um, crossing through the center line. Um, that indicates a potential sell. And you can see here indeed uh, selling around that line, which is basically about the same level, would have been a nice downtrend. OK, um, looking back here to the left, you'll see the blue line here crossing through the signal line, which was about there. That indicated a nice move to the upside as well. You don't want to just trade these um, on a uh, on a single cross. You want to use this in conjunction with other technical indicators. Um, OK, here we got the MACD line crossing through the signal line, indicating a sell there. And looking back here again to the left, the MACD line crossing through the signal line back down here. That indicates potential buy. And of course, that one would have worked well as well. Looking at the power of these histograms, you can see when the histogram starts to um, create lower highs, that may be the trend is going to reverse. So if you're looking back here in conjunction with here, and indeed it turned round. And see here that the bit of indecision, but here the histogram bars start to move up, basically showing you here that the trend is about to move up. So a lot of traders I know like to use the histograms as well. This is a nice trade back here, uh, back from what is it, August? Big cross uh, of the MACD line below the signal line, uh, indicating a big trend to the downside. So that's basically what it looks like on a real MT4 chart. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Hopefully now you understand what the MACD indicator is, what it is actually showing you. A couple of considerations I want you to be aware of. First of all, beware of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Often when traders come in and look at the MACD, they look back at the chart and think, gosh, every time the signal line was crossed, it was a buy or a sell. This is the Holy Grail. It is not the Holy Grail. It's just one indicator. It's a widely used, it's a very popular and powerful indicator, but it's not the Holy Grail. When you look back at the chart, you might think you found it. I guarantee you, you have not. As with any indicator, it should never be used as a standalone. It should be used in conjunction with other indicators or price action, be it other indicators, stochastics, or whatever it is, or support and resistance or indeed with pattern candles candlestick patterns as well shouldn't be used as a standalone indicator as i say same with any indicator really and always consider the higher time frame when using the macd you should always be looking at the higher time frame for confirmation of the bigger trend what's happening in the bigger picture of a particular currency pair or trading entity or what have you and you can use the macd on the lower time frames to pick those turning points for entries and indeed exits okay so we hope you found that useful uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video give me a thumbs down if you didn't don't forget to leave a comment as well i do get back to all of them in due course we've also got a team of people are monitoring as well don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so is that a wrap good now i can at least join my lunch goodness gracious that's annoying it's blooming cold now